Hello viewers, welcome to Pastor Beam TV. It's day 14 of the daily devotional. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. God has been good to us. It's 14 days now. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. So day 14 is saying to us to arise, shine, for our light is come. Arise, shine, for your light is come. Yes, our light is come. Father, we thank you. So I go straight into the body of the article. The Bible says, God's plan for you are good plans. That's taken from Jeremiah 29, 11. God's plan for you are good plans. Wonderful. Wonderful. I thought I was making a statement here, but the quotation can be related to Jeremiah 29 and 11. God wants you to arise and act on that instruction, that very instruction. He wants you to arise and, and, and act on that instruction that will align you in his divine plan. The Bible says that you can do all things. You are more than a conqueror. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. These are, the, this, this are all words of assurance from the scripture to us, you and I. Knowing this, why then would you procrastinate? Why then would you delay? Why any further deference? Why defer? Why disobey and not get started? The time is now. The Holy Spirit is the influence of God to power you through. Believe in yourself. Greater is he that is in you. 1 John 4.4 4. You are prearranged for a, for a purpose with divine timing. You are prearranged for a purpose with divine timing. So, act now for that change in your life your family, for that change in your home and in your marriage. Arise, woman. Arise to those guide, to those these guiding principles. Be bold and be courageous as God takes you through. Wonderful. To arise and shine. That light has come. The opportune moment has come. We are told not to defy any longer. We are told not to disobey, not to shelve it any longer, but to get going. God is able to make all grace abound towards us. The article says, the word of God also says we can do all things through Christ who enables us. Those are words of assurance. Hearing things like you are more than conqueror, you are well able to accomplish it. And we're told that the Holy Spirit is the influence of God over this thing we want to embark upon, over this assignment, over this next step. The Holy Spirit's power is available for all. Is the influence of God over the situation, over the plan, over the, the, the next step. But we must ensure we listen. We must listen to God. For Him to be able to get across to us, we must be attentive. And obedience to His word obedience to the letter obedience to the nitty gritty not 80 percent obedience you know it has to be 100 percent with that we will scale through because we are on a prearranged purpose of god and this is the time the divine timing psalm 102 13 makes us know that the set time there's a set time it says to zion the set time is now so the time for us to propel ourselves into that divine plan is now. We are not going to delay. No more saying, I'll do it tomorrow. No more saying later. We won't defer, but we are just going to get going. So I enjoy you to get going with it. You are in, on a prearranged plan of God. And now is that time of change. That change you have looked forward to, that you have waited, that you've dreamt about. That change in your family, change in your marriage, changing your work, changing your circumstances in general. The step has to be taken and God will not leave you lonely in it. He will go with you step by step as you dare to trust him and you obey 
him all through what he says you do as he directs you to follow. So we are rising and we are taking up courage and boldness because it's not by power, no longer by own power, not by might, but by his spirit encouraging us and backing us up. Praise the Lord. So we are not delaying any longer. Don't delay. Don't delay. Don't be tired in your walk. You have been praying. Continue to pray. Continue to put effort. Continue to trust God. Hallelujah. There is someone watching me. You, I don't know why you are deferring that admission. You keep saying, I will join them next year. Why? Why are you? You've, you've had a gap here. You are thinking of another. Get to uni. Get into that college. You've got to step into that school. You've got to put your step there. There is a, an appointed time. Don't delay. Don't you delay. Because everything has been programmed for your advantage. And there is a time set by God. Don't delay. Being in a university, in a college, in a higher institution is something good. You don't even know yourself why you are delaying. You don't even know why you are procrastinating. You don't even know why you are deferring. You will do it. God who helped you this far that you qualify for an admission will see you through. Don't be intimidated. Don't be harassed. Everything that you require to qualify within the period of you being in that institution, God will give to you. Hold on to him. He's the one asking you to go. Go now. It's a good thing. God gives good gifts. The admission that you have been, been offered is a good thing. Go for it. So don't be, don't, don't be embarrassed by anything. But you go. You've been made in the image of God. Go. If it's employment for somebody else, go take that job. You have what it takes. You will not disappoint yourself. The grace of God has been given. If it's God's will for you, go. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Have I not commanded you? Be strong and be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. Don't be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord God, the, the Lord your God, your Father, will be with you wherever you go. I'm going to read again. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Am I not involved in it? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. He says the same thing in Isaiah 40. And verse 10. He says, Fear not for I am with you. Do not be dismayed because I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you. I will help you with my right hand of righteousness. God is righteous to help you. He won't fail you. So why quit? Because procrastination is a stylish way of saying, I'm not ready for this. Stop procrastinating. Step into it. One step at a time. One step at a time. Just take one step. The other leg will follow. Take the next one. Your leg will follow. You can't put your right leg and your left leg won't follow. So a step at a time. Just look at one period or one day at a time. If you are getting overwhelmed by everything involved, take a day at a time. Don't use today's strength to take care of tomorrow's strength. God will supply. The Bible says daily loads us with benefits. His mercies are new every morning. Don't over stretch yourself. Don't overthink. Don't over, you know, exacerbate yourself. Use today's strength for today. Tomorrow's strength will come for tomorrow. Don't think too far. Rest in God. Cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. Jesus says to us in his word, he says, So never worry about tomorrow. Because tomorrow will worry about it itself each day is enough trouble for of its own that's from matthew 6 34 the international standard version 
So we are being enjoined by Jesus. He says, don't worry about tomorrow. He says, so never worry about tomorrow. Never worry about tomorrow. Because today, tomorrow will worry about itself. Tomorrow will take care of itself. The energy for today, use it for today. Don't be tired. You have been praying. You have been trusting God. It's time for action. If you have prayed, if you have trusted God, it's time. Hallelujah. Don't be tired in your walk. Don't be tired in your faith. Don't be tired in praying. We don't know when it shall come. Like I said, there is an appointed time. Hallelujah. Psalm 101 and verse 2 says, I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Be wise. Be wise. Take the right step at the right time. Do the right thing at the right time. Because everything is about divine timing and everything is twined together. This has to be available for this to work with this for you to see that expected result. There is a divine timing, a set time. The adjoining scripture for today's scripture as asks us to read Isaiah 60 and verse 1, which says, Arise, shine. What an assurance. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. It has come. Light has been shed into darkness now. I have brought the light of God onto that situation that is terrorizing you. Arise, shine, for your light is come. The glory of the Lord, all that you require, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, my dear viewers. Thank you for watching. And I trust the Lord to help you through as you take the step today. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. And see you for day 15. Bye.